what's going on guys this is purgatory and welcome to yet another splatoon 3 video and today we are going to be talking about the blasters and why they're currently in the meta and why i think my personal opinion from my experience why they're really good in terms just in the current weapon balance like right now the weapon balance is very interesting the the shooters feel solid most shooters are are very very solid but the way this game feels knowing how much better it feels the blasters have seemed to be easier to use and that also comes with the case that there's no shield in this game there's no ink armor or anything like that the meta in this game currently is blasters and sloshers sloshers are very good but i think in my personal opinion i think blasters are far better and here's the reason why so in comparison to splatoon 2 the controls and the fact that there was ink armor why blasters weren't the greatest they were they were still pretty decent and a good option to use but they weren't ever this good at least to my experience because one of the biggest things for me is the controls in this game so the controls feel so much better they feel very much smoother so hitting your shots in this game are much easier and knowing that the blaster you don't have to directly aim at somebody like i just did there you can just aim right here shoot a few shots and there you go the guy's dead you don't have to sit there and make sure your targets on him at all times you do more damage if your targets if you if you direct impact them with the blaster but for the most part you don't really need to be too much in that range of the direct impact direct impact with two shot but i can sit there and just be like and there we go that guy didn't if assuming that this was blocked off i didn't see this guy at all but i had an idea where he was i didn't have to shoot directly there i could just in that direction the the current really good blasters in this game i believe are the range blaster the blaster and the clash blaster which is what i have here now and that's the gameplay you'll be watching so obviously this one's a fully automatic and it's a very very fast fire rate blaster i'm pretty sure they're all fully automatic it's just their fire rates are different and the blast radius on this thing is huge but let's go ahead and i don't believe i have so here's very good options the blaster and the range blaster. The rapid blaster is a much faster fire rate version of the one of the like range blaster because it has still has the range but has a faster fire rate. The Luna blaster is something very interesting because this one has I'm pretty sure the most impact. The Luna blaster, the range blaster, and the blaster and the clash blaster are all very good. Personally, I don't like the Rapid Blaster or the the Range Rapid Blaster, whatever they're called, but let's look at the Range Blaster. This is the one that a lot of people are using because of its sheer damage. At a distance, doesn't matter what you do, but at a distance, you can one-shot. If you direct impact somebody with it, it's a one-shot, usually. But if you sit there and hit it in the range, it's usually a two-shot. It does fire very fairly slow, but even then, and it's it's very just right now. It just feels like, in my personal experience, hitting your shots with the blaster feel easier to do. One of the biggest things people do is there's a new perk in this game called Intensify Action. So Intensify Action allows you to jump, and you still have your accuracy. As you can see here, when I jump with the blaster here, the reticle spreads pretty far. But if I int have Intensify Action. This is an exaggeration, but I just changed over to gear that has all uh, intensify action. So if I jump, it's a far less spread. You can see right here. What, how people play this and what makes it even better is the fact that you can jump, shoot, jump, shoot, jump, shoot. That's, what, that's how you pretty much played in Splatoon 2 with these, is you would swim left, swim right, or yeah, right, swim left. You could even do a dodge roll and hit the shots with it. So that means if somebody's, if a shooter's trying to track you as you're swimming this way, you could just quickly jump here, hit your shot. I'm not very good with the range blaster. I don't use this one all that much. But you could jump here, shoot, jump here, 
The amount of movement mechanics that you have here are insane, but what people usually rock with the blaster is, for at least from what I've seen, is swim speed, intensify action, and I believe... I've seen some use ink resistance, but I would say ink saver is more of a better perk to use with this thing, especially with the class blaster. But anyways, I've gone along enough, but in terms of my total experience, blasters feel even better than they did in Splatoon 2. Splatoon 2, they felt almost near useless, at least in the later life of Splatoon 2, but in this game, they're so much better because of all the because of how much smoother the controls feel and in my personal experience they the so, the shots just feel easier to hit while it's in the meta and you know you're playing some ranked and you really just want to get some wins i would recommend using these blasters i usually don't would not recommend using these but it's honestly at this point it's they're probably going to get nerfed so i would definitely say to go ahead and use it Clash Blaster, doesn't matter what you want to use, just as long as you use a blaster. And keep in mind that even if they're behind cover, you can still shoot in their general direction and take them out. And the blaster is probably one of the best solutions for it. So, like, at least the range blaster and the regular blaster, those are probably the biggest ones you can do. Luna Blaster is really good too because of Luna Caster, or the Zip Caster. But this one's pretty good because you also have this. This little thing detects where people are. So if you see somebody behind cover, you can just shoot in that general direction and take that guy out. But anyways, I've gone on long enough. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like if you did. Make sure to subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. And let me know, do you want the blasters to be nerfed? Or do you want them to stay the same? Or do you want them to be absolutely shot into the ground to where they're useless again? I don't think they should be useless. I just think they should just be tuned a little bit in terms of damage radius. And ink consumption and just overall damage because quite frankly they're in a really good spot to where even if the sloshers got like somewhat of a nerf these things would still be on top if the sloshing machine wasn't the way that it was these would easily be the meta weapons in my personal opinion but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the clash blaster gameplay if you did make sure to leave a like again subscribe if you're brand new i love you guys enjoy the video and let me know what's your favorite blaster